Hi, I'm Amber, and today I'm going to show you how to use the SFAX Admin Portal. To get started, you'll select the Settings icon, and you'll notice five items on the left menu. My Profile, Manage Account, Manage Numbers, Manage Users, and Manage Integrations. For admin purposes, we'll just discuss the first four, and for more information on managing integrations, please see our Help Desk. Let's start with My Profile. A traditional user will only see the My Profile view. And within this, they can update their name, their email, cover page details, and more. Just remember to choose Update if any changes are made. A user can also update their password, their email notifications, and the security preferences. Let's move on to Managing Account. Here you'll be able to update your cover page information, such as your address, your phone number. You can also change time zones and view more. Remember to save any changes. You can generate a report that will show you your usage. You'd simply select the year and the month. After choosing Submit, you'll have a CSV file with two tabs, one for inbound usage, one for outbound. Simply total both tabs for your page counts. Okay. You can manage security settings for your users by enabling a password expiration, limits on reusing passwords, and lockout after so many failed attempts. And you can also set password strength. You can manage your IPs by enabling this and entering your IP address. You're preventing users from accessing it outside of this IP. You can enter a range and title it. You can also manage your subscription by choosing Manage Billing. If you are paying with a credit card, you can update your credit card of information um, as well as managing your account. You can also change your plan. So if you have generated a usage report and you have gone, you notice you've gone over your allotted pages, simply change my plan. That will send an email to an account manager who will review it and send you back any information to complete that process. Let's move on to Manage Numbers. You'll notice that this account has two fax numbers assigned, front desk and records. Let's choose records. Here I can choose to update the name if I wanna retitle it. You can give it a status and make notes. I can also see who is assigned to these fax numbers. So at this time, I've got Dr. John S. Fax and Dr. Lotta Love, both assigned to the number for incoming and outgoing faxes. If I want to give John Doe access to faxes that are received, I simply choose the incoming icon and I can update email notifications. Let's enable received notifications for all. I'll choose submit. In order to request a new fax number, choose the add number icon and by choosing next it would send an email to our support team. Once the number's been added, they'll confirm and you can add users to that number. Moving on to manage users. I have four users assigned to this account. Jan Doe, Dr. Lotta Love, Dr. John S. Fax, and John Doe. I'll select Dr. Lotta Love. I could adjust Dr. Lotta Love's admin privileges if I wanted to. I can update a name, email address. These are basic settings that a user can update themselves. If you do make changes, choose update. I can see that this user is assigned to both fax numbers and has email notifications for when a fax is received. I could lock down email notifications. Doing so, Dr. Lotta Love would not be able to disable or enable notifications at a later time. I can also update security preferences. I can enable two-factor notification, which will send pins to a mobile number. Just remember to apply after changes are made. You can also update permissions from faxes, folders, and settings. I could remove any options here. If I didn't want this user to delete faxes or folders, I simply untick the box. Okay. You'll notice on the left-hand side, we have a couple of different options here. Um, we have 
purple with a white font, which is my selected state. And we have a normal, which is an active user. And then we have a light purple. This indicates that this is a inactive user. So they've been suspended for one reason or another. Let's go ahead and add a user. Give them a name. Can decide whether I want to set them up as a user or an admin. And assign an email address. I can choose to activate at a later time, send an activation email, or activate now. Activating now, you would set their password for them. Sending an activation email would send a user a link with their username. They'd simply have to create their password. Or you can activate at a later time. Let's do that. I'll choose next. Now I can assign fax numbers to this user. I just want this user to be assigned to the front desk and to receive a notification if they send a fax and it fails. Go ahead and save. So I've got Dr. Joe Foote here. You'll notice that he is highlighted in gray. This indicates that he has yet to activate his account. So either I can go in, I'll select him, I can resend his activation email, or I can activate myself. Uh, once the user has activated, they'll appear in the normal state just as all the other active users. And that is how you use the SFAX admin portal. For more information, please see our help desk.